But what about the trace logs? Well, let's look at that. I'm going to come down to Start, and I'm going to select Run, and I'm going to hop into the RegEdit program. And inside RegEdit, I want to navigate down through HKey Local Machine, Software, into Microsoft, and underneath the Microsoft key, you want to find the tracing key. The tracing key has one key underneath it for a lot of different services inside routing and remote access. And unfortunately, a lot of these aren't extremely useful as far as their names are concerned. But there is one that is very good to take a look at, and that is PPP, the point-to-point -point protocol. If you come into the point-to-point -point protocol and you enable file tracing here by turning on one, this will log all of the different PPP information into your Windows directory tracing so that you can see what's happening with the point-to-point -point protocol. PPP is used for both demand dial, router-to-router -router VPNs, and people trying to dial in, for instance, a remote access client who's trying to dial in over a modem or some sort of a VPN. All this information will be sent into the tracing directory so you can take a look in much more detail at what's happening on your system. How much detail? Well, if you open up your Windows directory and the tracing directory, you'll see exactly what I mean. By checking that box inside Routing and Remote Access, you've enabled tracing for every service that RRAS is functioning with right now. I'm going to click on Start and Run. And I'm just going to type in C colon backslash Windows backslash tracing. And that's going to open up my tracing directory. Inside here now, I've got all of my different tracing log files for everything associated with Routing and Remote Access. Some of them have a lot of information, some of them have none, depending on what's happening at this particular point in time. But if you're having problems with NAT, for instance, here's the NAT helper. I could double click on this particular log file. And if I actually understand what I'm looking at, this is extremely complex information that's mainly meant for Microsoft if they need to help you troubleshoot a really complex issue. You can look through here and see what's going on. But some of the more normal logs, such as PPP, you could take a look at the PPP log. And this will show you the establishment of sessions as people try to dial in, and the breakdown and teardown of sessions as people hang up their VPN or their dial-up connection. 